Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I did this face, this whole look using makeup na below 500 pesos yung price. So totally below 500 pesos, walang mamahaling makeup dito. So definitely walang Jeffree Star dito. So if you'd like to see kung paano ko na-complete yung look na to and as well as the products that I use, then just keep watching. Okay, so before we start, uh, I'd like to give a quick disclaimer lang din. So a lot of the items that I'm going to be using today, I bought sa Lazada. But there are some items here na I bought offline. But what I'll do para rin makita nyo that I am following the rules of this challenge is I'll put up a screenshot of the products that I use right here para makita nyo rin na I am following the below 500 rule. Okay, so another thing with this challenge is the below 500 rule that I followed is SRP, not any kind of sale price. Kasi upon checking, there are some items here na binili ko na naka-sale siya ngayon. So, I, I followed you SRP natin, not a sale price. So, even though SRP is still below 500, not cheating. But still, uh, mas mura siya than what it is when I bought it. Okay? So, let's start. So, lahat ng products, nilagay ko siya rito sa Lazada box kung saan siya magaling. So, buksan ko na lang to. Then, the first product is, of course, pang kilay. And for brows, we'll be using the Blythe, Blythe? Blythe Cosmetics uh, Perfect Brow Trio. So, ito siya. Ayan. So, I'll put up a screenshot right here of the product. So, I'm using the shade uh, Meteor. Okay? So, ito yung tura niya. So, there's a brow pencil. Medyo ginamit ko na siya before. So, this is an old product. Hindi siya bago. Then, there's a powder. So, ito yung powder side niya. And then, dito sa bottom, there's a liquid. Like a pomade type thing. Okay? So, I'll do my brows first. Then, yeah. Let's start. So, sinusundan ko lang yung shape ng aking eyebrow. So, with this, medyo, it needs a little work uh, when you're applying this. Kasi, the pigment doesn't immediately, like, hit you. Which is good in some cases, kasi at least, matatansya mo siya talaga. But at the same time, if you're the type to, like, want to have a quick brow, medyo may hirap ang karito kasi... As you can see, I am pressing very hard para lang makakuha ng pigment. So it's a really nice brow product. So it's not the type na pagkatapos mong gamitin, natatakot ka kasi yung kilay mo medyo sobrang kapal na. So we have the initial shape, so not bad. Transition to the powder side. Powder na. Yeah, so, like, apply lang natin siya to set the waxy pencil that we put in. Yeah, and then, add a little color dito sa my base ng kilay ko. Okay. Oh, now, we'll use yung ito, yung parang brow mascara. I forgot what it's called. Okay, so ito muna, ito yung gamitin natin next. Okay. So it's really setting the brows then. Then, binatuhan niya ako ng pigment dito. So tatanggalin natin siya. And ikakalat natin yung pigment na ibinigay niya sa akin. There you go. And, yan. So we have one brow done. So I'll do the other brow off camera and I'll be right. So for our next step, we'll be priming our eyelids. So for my eyelids, I'll be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So it looks like this. And it's in the shade Sand. So I'll put up a screenshot right here of how much it costs. Um, I think nung you know, screenshot, it's on sale. It's on flash sale. Um, but I bought it nung hindi siya naka flash sale. 
lalagay tayong konti sa eyelids natin. Then, let's just blend it out. And so, it's just enough to have the eyeshadow stick to my lids. Tsaka para lang hindi mag-even out yung color ng eyelids ko. Kasi I do have a bit of a showy vein. There we go. So now our eyelids are primed. So maganda na siya. Well, hindi pa maganda, but you know what I mean. For eyeshadow, we have two palettes to choose from. And both are from Everbellana. So the first one is the Ultimate Eyeshadow. So it looks like this. Flash the price right here. Um, the tura niya. Maganda siya. It's a, re it's a lot of like really warm eyeshadows. Na pwede for perfect for daily use, I would say. And then it smells like baby powder. Yeah, it smells like carton and baby powder. Maybe it's because of the packaging, but the shadows itself smells like baby powder. Okay, the next one is C. Everblend Advanced Rich, uh, 15 Shades Eyeshadow Palette. So ito naman siya. It looks like this. Then, it's a lot bigger than the Ultimate Eyeshadow and it's a lot more, how I say, warm and intimidating. <laughs> okay, so I guess we can start with the Ultimate Eyeshadow and I'll be using this shade to set the concealer lang na nilagay ko. Okay. So we're dipping into this shade right here. So. Hmm. Okay. I'm capture naman siya ng brush ko. And now we give it up. Oh, it's really powdery. I don't know if the camera can see na nung nilagay ko siya, it kind of fluffed out of my brush. It's just powdery siya. And it's not even a lot of pigment, which is fine since we're just setting the concealer. Pero, I hope it's not a sign of how the shadows will be performing. It's not really showing. It's not really like giving me pigment. It's just scary because this is just a basic beige white shade. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. And so it's all set. So next we'll be dipping into the rich palette and I'm gravitating towards this shade Muna to act as like the transition shade. Yeah, so it's this one and it's very very powdery. Hmm. And top off. Oh boy. Scared. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay. It's not showing much, but actually, it really is not showing much. So let's dip into it again. Oh boy, powder though. So mukhang ito yung type of eyeshadow that you need to build before you see any kind of payout. So you see a little bit, but. Again, I'm not going to tap it off. So there's a lot here. So it should give me something to work with. Please. Mm. Mm. Okay, it's not showing anything at all. <laughs> okay, but we need to even out. Siya. So we're going to the eye. It's a really light wash of color. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's not really showing me anything at all. Okay. Okay, that's doing absolutely nothing. I'm so scared now. Okay, so we'll dip back into the ultimate eyeshadow and see if any of these other shades will give me something. So I'll dip into this one. So this is the more darker. Hello? 
hammer this no okay so the hammer kind of shows it that this is a bit more darker but in person in a certain type of light hindi mo makita masyado yung difference but um in camera mas kita mo nga na mas orange tong nasa taas so i'm dipping into the more orangey shades and this is what it looks like in my brush it's really powdery okay yan and marami yan i'm not even gonna tap out here we go oh okay okay Oh, this is much better. Okay. So she is showing up a lot more than her sister from the Rich Palette. Again. Okay. So definitely, this one is saving this look. Yeah. Okay. Dipping into it even more. And I don't know if you guys can see that fallout though. Medyo marami siya. But as long as it's giving me pigment, it's okay. So, let's give this one another shot. I'd like to try the deeper shades. Wow, this one's really powdery. This one's just... No, 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 no. Okay, we'll try to dip into this shade right here. I don't know. And, okay, so it's showing up in my brush. Let's see if it will give me something in my crease. So let's see. And oh, okay, 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 okay. So the first one was a fail, but this one, this one is working out just a bit. It's my fault if the colors are a bit too close. So that was another shot. Then I'll. Try to deepen it out even more with a different shade, a darker shade. And so it doesn't really show much on camera because the shades I chose are a bit too close to each other. So measure. Oi, it's a fail in my part. So we'll dip into another shade. So this one's a bit darker. Hmm, okay. This one's a bit darker, so let's see if this one will work again. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Give me something good. Okay. okay that's a lot better than the first one I chose. And so it's showing up a lot better than the first shade that I chose. Okay, so we'll dip into it again and do the other eye. And so I can work with this. So let's see. Try. Well, I swatched this one already and it looks like a really promising shimmer shade. But, okay, so let's dip into this shade now. Mm. Really nice. Okay. So, try natin sa eyelids natin. Okay. okay. So, okay na naman siya in layer on. darker shade just to deepen out the outer corner in the eyes natin. So, let's go with this one. Let's see if it will give me something to work with. Okay, it's giving me something. Okay, tapping off the excess. Okay, try natin. Let's see here. Oh.
Mm. It's even out, but I'll explore a deeper shade. Deeper. So let's see. Hmm. This is scary, but I think this is the black in the shade. And sin watch ko siya kanina and it is really black. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, the black is showing me something. Okay. Okay, I like that. Okay, so I dipped into it again and try not to spoil it. So we're done with the upper eye. Um, quick review. This palette is really interesting. This for a daily use palette, because. You have this really warm shade that you can work with, and as you can see, this is what we It's really pigmented, so I would suggest going for this. It's all matte, so maganda siya, maganda siya talaga for daily use, mga pang office or pwedeng day to night since you have the darker shades to like smoke it out afterwards. And then for this one, for the rich palette, I will need to play around with this a bit more, but so far, it's a bit hit hit or miss. So, may mga shades that are going to give you a lot of pigment, a lot of pigment that's um, somewhat alarming because you need to work. You need to really blend it up. But then there are some like the shade na sa gitna. It didn't really show up the way I wanted it to. So, maybe it's because of my blending. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. But I'll play around with this even more and maybe I'll let you, I'll let you guys know what I think. Siguro I'll use this one in another video. Actually, I might use both of these in another video. I really like this. Well, now we're done with the eyeshadow, so we'll move on to the face. For the face, we'll be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. So it looks like this. Okay, so I'll flash up the price right here. Para rin makita nyo. Although, currently, I think it's out of stock. Pero nabili ko rin kasi ito sa drugstore. I think it's Watson's. So, yan. Kumuha na sa finger ko. And I'll put it everywhere. <laughs> Blend out lang natin. I really, really like this primer. Same taga ko siyang ginagamit. And it really gives like a really nice, it really allows you to have like a really nice base to your skin without it feeling like thick or greasy or anything. And pinagmukhang talaga akong makita. Okay. So nice and primed, but I like using primers like this, and I like using face mists on top of my other primers because I'm weird that way. Okay, so we'll be using the Aspasia, Aspasia, Aspasia Moist Up Face Mist. So it looks like this. Yeah. So I'll put up the price right here. So for this one, I bought it offline. I bought it sa'yo. So, so, ayan, may tag price pa siya. And it's 199 But I think you can also buy it in Lazada. Okay, so shake it up. And then, spray lang natin. Sa face natin. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, prep ko na sa kamay ko yung foundation na gagamitin natin today. And it's going to be the... BLK Cosmetics uh, All Day Liquid Matte Foundation. So it's like it's like this, and I'm in the shade Sand. Okay, so I say I'm in the shade Sand because I think I'm an in between shade for this range. So quick commentary: uh, no T, no shade, but BLK Cosmetics only has like three shades of foundations available. So there's Porcelain, there's Sand, and there's Honey. Porcelain is super, super white. I think it's like for really mestiza people. Sand is light to medium, although leaning then to light. Then si Honey is like medium to slightly dark. So, those are the only three shades. And 
honestly, I think they need more. So like for me, I'm an in-between shade. Hindi naman pwedeng bumili ako ng dalawa. Kasi, I won't be able to use it. And honestly, there are other foundations that are slightly a bit more expensive. But have the my right shade. So minsan, I'd rather invest on that. But I did try this out para lang makita ko if it's really worth it. But I wish they would come up with more shades. Sayang eh. Maganda rin kasi itong foundation na to. Okay, so I'll pump it out of my hand. Ayan. It's really, really thick. Yeah, as you can see, it's really thick. It's not even moving in my hand. So I'll use the bottom, the what? The bottom of my brush to like spread it out. Ayan. So as you can see, it's really light for me. And I'm not that dark, I think. So let's blend this up. As you can see, it's really light. Mezzo light shuffle. So, maganda pa naman sana siya. I really like the finish of it. Pero yun nga. Mukhang dadaya. Ay na lang natin to. Sa powder and sa contour. And sa blush. Ayan. So, that's the foundation done. And, yeah. It's a lot lighter than my skin. So, BLK. Baka naman. Baka naman. <laughs> So that's the foundation. Next is the si concealer. So we're going back with our Fit Me concealer. So Maybelline Fit Me. So I'll put on the shade sand. Now we're going to use it under the eyes. Okay. This is si Fit Me. Uh, I've been using it ever since it it came out. I think and I used to use the shade medium, but that's because Long time na yun, I still didn't know that you could use concealer to highlight underneath your eye, your yeah, your eyes. So I I transitioned to the shade sand because I'm usually a medium beige as a foundation, so at least I can still use this to highlight me under eye. Okay, there you go. Blend it out. Because this one never really gave me a problem when it comes to blending it out. Minus kabilis. Nos. Forehead. And on. And concealers. Done. Uh, I will say, hindi siya ganun ka full coverage. So, maybe I can add a bit more. Kasi kita pa rin yung eye bugs ko. Queen ako ng pagpupuyat. I am a nocturnal person. Like right now, I am filming this at 10 o'clock in the evening. So, that's usually when my brain and my body is awake. So, before our under eye crease, we'll be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. So, it's this one right here in the shade Dulce de Leche. So, again, screenshot right here. Uh, this one, I've been using this product for a couple of years. Na ubo siya, then I've had to repurchase it. Because uh, I really like the consistency and the contour of it is really nice on my skin. Okay, no, nothing white powder. Whoa. Then let's set our other eye. Yeah, okay, I'm already hitting pan on both, so I might need to repurchase soon. This is the second time, second time I purchased this and. Going, there's going to be a third one. So before we contour, we'll set the rest of the face. So I was going to use the Fit Me Loose Setting Powder, but hindi pa kasi siya dumating. So I'm going to use the Detail Makeover Mineral Loose Powder. So it's this one right here, and it's in the shade Natural. So I think yung available ngayon sa online is a different packaging. Nagbago na yata yung packaging, which is sad because I really love their packaging. Uh, the puff is like super secure, so even if there's powder there, hindi siya yung kumakalat. I really like it because it has a lid, so it's really secure. It has its own mirror, although I, bar I barely use this. Then the puff, ayan, ang ganda ng puff niya. Then there's the powder itself. Maganda rin yung sifter nito eh. Okay, so, ayan, ayan, ayan. 
syempre regularin natin ang ating chin, neck, what? <laughs> then, syempre, nalagyan na rin ang ating t-shirt. Itim. Good job, Maui. Kaya ganda mga nag-itim ka. Then, let us blend. So, now everything is set. And ready to go. But kuwani mo grill. We'll do. We'll go back to our wet and wild, para mag contour. So, grab my brush. On here. Ayan to meron niya. Tap konte. Then let's contour. Let's contour that forehead. So, may contour na tayo. May, yeah. So, may medyo mukha tayong slim. I'm kidding. We don't. Let's then. So, before we move on to blush and highlight, so, taposin na muna natin yung eyes natin. Para, tapos na. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go back to the rich palette. So I'll dip into this shade right here just so we can smoke out your lash line. Then we'll dip into this black shade and focus it on the outer corner just to match your nastas. really smoky because I intensified the yung nandito sa taas to make it connect and now we're smoky 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 so let's blend it out just a little bit sa taas para hindi naman tayo and blend that natin so this black really shows up I love it so now we're gonna go do our liner so this is the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner. Again, so again, I'll flash the price right here. Um, this is going to be the first time I'm trying this because I used to use the red one. I forgot the name, but I used to use that one and I really loved that. Pero it's mahal kasi siya. <laughs> so I bought this one because it's a, it's a bit cheaper than the one that. I used to use and I want to try it out. So, let's see if okay lang ba na nagtipid ako sa liner. <laughs> hmm. That's really nice. Hey, let's do a win. It's really easy. Hmm. Now I have a win. Hmm. Really good. How my bag of favorite. Okay, so let's do the other eye. So this one's a keeper, so in case you guys are looking for a really good liner, tandaan nyo to. It's this mascara, so I think this is a cult favorite and you guys would pretty much recognize this by now. This is the Maybelline, the Hyper Curl Mascara. So it's waterproof. I think this is the very first mascara that I've ever tried. Uh, and it's the first one I tried because again, it's super cheap. It's 199 pesos. So, I'll flash the price right here. So, for this one, I think naka-flash sale siya ngayon na same filming. So, it's 169 if I'm not mistaken. But, it's usually 199 pesos. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see if this will help my lashes. 
this. Ayan. Hindi siya masyadong kita sa upper lashes kasi medyo naging intense yung eye look natin. But, it's okay. It's good for every day. It's not too cray-cray naman. Okay, now that our eyes are done, so we went really smoky and really wild. I did not intend for that to happen, but at least I can say that this eyeshadows work. Okay, so now we'll move on to blush. So I'm trying out the Vice Cosmetics Aura. I'm guessing this is Aura because of everything. So, <laughs> so this is the Aura blush in the shade title. Okay, so it looks like this. I will say, medyo na biktima ako nito ng expectation versus online because I didn't think it was gonna be this dark. Um, in the pan, it looks like a contour shade. So, let's see if it will help me get more color in this cheek. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Aura. Okay. Puma aura nga tayo ngayon. Oh, I like that. It's like, I'm gonna be using you for a while. Okay. Hmm. I see. So this one looks really good. That's warming up my teeth. It's really nice. And it's the kind of blush that I like. Because it's not super pink. And it's more of a peachy orange. So now we're done with the blush. Next is highlight, and again, we're going with Vice Cosmetics. This time, it's the Aura Glow in the shade Shimmering. So let's see if we will be shimmering in this one. Okay, let's try it out, and let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, shade plain. Oh, okay. Aura ulit tayo. Oh my gosh, that highlight is nice. It's giving my skin a really nice glow. Yeah. It's comparable to the more expensive highlights. I like that. Like major powders, but I will say. I like that look. Huh. Okay. I will be using this a lot more. I like that. Now we're down to the final step of the makeup, which is the lips. So, we have lipstick na tayo and I have five to choose from. Well, five of the same lippy. <laughs> So it's kind of the same lippy. So this is the Revlon Kiss Cloud uh, Blotted Lip Color. Uh, and I have the shades Chocolate Souffle, Berry Soft, Raspberry Souffle, Pink Marshmallow, and Cherries on a Cloud. So it's not obvious na favorite ko siya. Uh, I think I went cray cray at one point. So let me see which one will work with my eye. Mm, nah. Okay, maybe none of the berry shades. Hmm? Mm -mm. Hmm? No. Nah. Yeah, we're going with chocolate souffle. So it's this one. Uh, this is becoming my favorite shade. Because kahit ano talaga ang look, this color looks great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, so, hmm, a bit more red on camera, but 
I really like it in this look. Hmm. Come on. Okay. So, last step, magsaset tayo ng, ng face using the Aspasia Face Mist. And this look is complete. And yes, so that completes this look. So, what do you guys think? I think I did really well considering that but everything is 500 pesos no, below 500 pesos now. Um, the face makeup I love actually I love everything I love everything about this look so what surprised me the most is the highlight and the blush uh, I didn't expect it to be that amazing <laughs> the lip I've used it a couple of times. I think that was the lip that I used in my first video, so no surprises there. I love this lip. The eyeliner did pretty well. The eyeshadows, I think I'm gonna need to play with it a little bit more to find out kung how special it really is. But then, based on this, based on, based on this look, I really love it. Uh, and I didn't expect to find something this pigmented. For less than 500 pesos more pigmented palettes are more expensive oh so yeah that completes this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so hopefully you guys continue to support me in my makeup journey and comment you lang below kung ano pa yung mga looks or challenges that you would like for me to do uh, comment you lang and I'll do my best to recreate them and to do them so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye